Okay, everybody, let's get right into it. The dress rehearsal to the season kickoff 2016. You had the week three game, Kansas City Chiefs at the Chicago Bears. And much like the Denver Broncos game, we had nothing. Okay, so let me just start off by saying that the best player on our team is Pat O'Donnell. Yep, you guessed it. A lot of you might not know who Pat O'Donnell is, but he's number 16, and he is our punter. He was the best player on the field today for our Chicago Bears, averaging about 50 yards a punt. So let me just say this right off the bat to John Fox. Had the Bears not scored, I would have been screaming for your job. Yep. After two preseason games at home, you would have delivered zero points. But Kano Osha saved your butt, which was my MVP until he got hurt. That's not his fault, but Hoyer needs to be fired, cut instantly, needs to be the first player to go. He overthrew everybody. He's just terrible. Kano Osha, wow. To me, from everything he's done so far, incredible. Okay, so let's get to this horrific defense, which was awful. Yet again, they allowed these guys to go up and down the field on them, just like the Denver game. Couldn't get off the field on third down, being over aggressive, late getting to the pass rush, and that's the problem. And a memo to you, Mr. Sir John Fox. I don't know why you keep deferring when we win the coin toss, but let me give you a news flash. Our defense is not good enough for you to be trying to put on the field first. To me, you just like Lovey Smith, same guy. And um I'm being I'm very worried about you know this team. You know uh Tracy Porter went out concussion protocol. To me it looked like he barely got hit. He was getting beat all day before the end. This defense allowed the tight ends to go, to burn them all day long, even the backup tight ends. And speaking of backups, I guess after the um, you know, we came out on first half, uh um uh, Andy Reid decided that hey, Alex Smith, you didn't kill these guys enough. We ain't even going to bring you back in at the third quarter. So the second string team comes on. And you guessed it, they go up and down the field on our first team defense. And as you can see in this play right here, the Chiefs receiver after being hauled all over by Deion Hall number 32 who was the hero in week 1, basically still made the incredible catch. I don't know why a flag wasn't called, but that was a bomb from their second string team, and they did go on to get a touchdown. So basically, before the uh, backups came in, we were losing 20 to zip. So there you have it. The Bears lost this game 20 to zip. The offense didn't score. So let's get to the offense. Jay, okay, you know, Jay did okay. So I already got no complaints about Jay. But right now, I'm going to point to the receivers. And starting with Mr. Franchise, Alshon Jeffrey, who had drop after drop and even the motion penalty called on him. And if I can recall... Last year, third preseason game, dress rehearsal at Seattle, Alshon dropped a wide open bomb from Jay Cutler that would have changed the game. The Seahawks kicked our butts then too. I don't know about y'all. Y'all look at this as preseason. To me, these are games and I will cut and fire people over these displays because let me tell you this right now. What's going to change between now and week one? You just not go turn on the button and stop getting drove up and down the field on defense. If you count the yards and numbers don't lie, this defense would have gave up almost 300 yards in the first half alone. Alex Smith had 181 yards just playing in the first half. So basically, they did about three drives that had 11 plus plays over like, what, seven minutes each time. Just like last week what we did to the Patriots, the Bears barely had the ball, and how can the offense get into a rhythm? You should have not deferred, let the offense come out and set the tone, but yet our defense was on the field for mostly the whole game. Guys like I saw Trevor Thon out of breath, I saw Eddie Goldman out of, out of breath at times, and then you can't even blame them. They on the field all the time. You know, I don't see the playmakers. Oh, okay. Hakeem Hicks finally showed up and got a sack and made an impact a little bit. Where was um, Leonard Floyd? I didn't even see him. Kevin White, another drop. You know, I don't know if you're playing too fast, if you're nervous, but once you start dropping the ball like that and they get in your head, man. You know what I'm saying, Robbie Go? I didn't forget about you, Mr. 48-yard field goal. Hey, in the summertime at home, you should have hit that field goal. We in trouble. We weak everywhere. The special teams allowed these guys to go up and down the field on us. You know, so the highlights, Cameron Meredith, Counter Shaw. I saw uh, Robertson Harrison on the 47 for the first time. He was actually getting in on some pressure. You know, Jonathan Buller, you know, being speedball and jumping off sides. Man, this is a bad team right now. A bad team. And I am not excited about the 
season as far as watching my own home team. This is pathetic, and I'm going to say it right now. John Fox is not the coach for the job. He's not getting it done. You know what he producing? He producing injuries. He producing more injuries than touchdowns. Think about that. More injuries than turnovers. This is just pathetic, and it hurts my heart to see, man. I don't know. Forget the fourth preseason game about resting people. You guys need to get y'all butts out there and get as much practice as you can. The defense ain't no hope for y'all. I just don't see this defense turning it around. I'm not trying to hear no Pernell McPhee. One person ain't going to change things. But the offense, y'all need to get out there to get in sync. I'm not that much worried about Alshon, but people, y'all better realize this. Alshon has a drop here and there. I can remember back in that game, we could have went to the playoffs against the Packers. I think the um, first year that Mark Tressman was here, that last drive, Alshon was dropping some uh, big passes. So, you know, you and your, your agent, you know, want to complain about contract and all of this stuff, man. You got to hold on to the ball. You're getting paid 15 million a year. You know, I could go on and on, man. I'm just, I'm embarrassed. I'm hurt. And I don't, I, I'm lost for words. I don't see this getting no better. You know, unless a genie come in and touch all you guys' head and magically get you guys going, man, we in deep trouble. These are the bad news bears right now. It's your boy Dynamite. Go ahead and comment. Let me know what y'all thought about this game, man. All right, I'm going to get up out of here. You just been served. Pew.